Hello, my friends. Lilith and I are greeting you from Winston-Salem. And this is Lilith. And <laughs> as you can see, the horsey quilt is done. Yay! Here she is. My cousin came over the other day, and when I showed her the quilt, she said, Now that's a true paint. Um, so the name of the quilt is Paint. The My horse of a different color. And so that's how she got her name. Um, I'm, Lilith's moved over a little bit, so I'm petting her. Um, I also finished, this is for my niece, Karen. Oopsie. And I have, in the quilting, I did heart, um, diagonal stripes and then I don't know if you can see it or not but on the horsey itself I have done a blanket stitch around each piece of the um, applique work and so it's done in a color that is as close to the color of the piece as I could get it. So there was a lot of changing of the arm, of, of the threads as I worked, but that was okay. It, it turned out, I think, very well, and I'm happy with it. Um, the other quilt that I got done this week was one the one for my niece, Diane, and it was quilted at Missouri Star Quilt Company, and here it is. And <laughs> so there you go. It's, it's quite a bit bigger than that. But the quilting motif that, that was used is called Deb's Feathers, which I thought was really appropriate. Diane's big sister's name is Deb. Uh, Deborah, she's the one that got the star quilt last, I mean the basket quilt last week. Um... But her name's Deborah, and we call her Deb. So, that's four out of five natural nieces quilts done. The fifth one, I haven't talked to her yet about it. I think I'm just going to choose something and quilt it and surprise her with it. I haven't seen her in years and years and years, but I've been talking to her lately for the first time in several years so we've been talking on the phone we've had about four or five conversations in the past year and it's it's going to be nice to see her again so as soon as i get this quilt done i'm going to invite her to have lunch or dinner and sit with her and present it to her and and that'll that'll be that um haven't chosen the quilt yet but I'm leaning toward the one with the uh, the really colorful quilt with the uh, balloons on it, but the hot air balloons on it. But I'm not sure yet. It's either the... we'll see. I have two other nieces who are my brother's stepdaughters, but I consider them my nieces. And I've talked to both of them, and both of them have said. Whatever you want to do for, for me is fine with me. You choose it. So, uh, with one of them, Melissa, she doesn't care if it's a wall hanging or a lap quilt or, or what. Uh, the other one said that she would prefer something that she could use. So, it'll be a, long, a wall hang. Not, <laughs> it won't be a wall hanging. It will, it will be a full-size quilt, probably. Um, I have one made a quilt top made and i'm think i'm gonna send it off at the end of the month um to be long arm quilted it's the one it's got a lot of um sunflowers on it and an applique sunflower in the center so i think that's the one i'm gonna send to her and meanwhile i'll probably do a wall hanging for um melissa the older daughter so we'll see and uh, that will take care of all of my nieces. I have 
for the rest of the year, my goals are, I've got those three quilts to get done. I have two quilts for my sons. Um, one is a quilt that I started making for Patrick years ago, and I just never did do anything with the quilt top. So I, I will quilt that one. Um, the other one is my oldest son chose it, and it surprised me because of the colors in it. But I think it's the most intricate quilt I've ever, that I have. Um, and it's one that I plan to send to Sarah to have quilted because I really want a special, I want this one done special. Um, then there's Vanessa's quilt, my future daughter-in-law. And it should come back from the long arm quilt from Missouri Star probably in four or five weeks, maybe maybe a little less. Um, and that one I'll get done in time for their, um, oh, their um, engagement party, which will be in July. Uh, so I plan to give it to her, to her then. And that's all I have really planned as far as gifts go for the year. The other one that I want to get done before the end of the year is my quilt, my Project of Doom. And I'm not sure which one, it, uh, whether it'll be the 2011 or the 2015 one. But um, it's going to, I think it'll be the 2011. It's been waiting longer. Uh, but it's, I love, love, love those quilts and so I'm thinking that I'm going to attempt to quilt this myself I'll go over you know around the outlines of the major the books and the other the pieces and from there I'll see what I can do with the backgrounds um but the I I really think I want to do this one. It'll be the first large quilt that I've ever quilted on my little machine, but it will mean the most to me if I do it myself, I think. Um, so, there you have it. And I'm working toward my goals, and I'm tickled to death, and I gotta tell you what I did. <laughs> this, okay. So one of the things that I wanted to do was cut back on UFOs this year. And so I've been getting things done, trying to get things done from my stash of quilt tops that I have, like 20 some odd quilt tops. Um, some of those are small. They're going to be, I'm going to quilt them and get them ready for to go to Linus Project. Um, some of and, and they're pretty basic quilts, but they're colorful. And I think they'll be nice for that. Um, some of them are larger. And one of them is 10 inch blocks just sewn together. And I'm going to take it apart because it's done with my fairy frost in, um, metallic colors blacks and champagne and copper and and silver and i'm taking it apart and i will be using that in my magical beast quilt i am excited about getting started on that so that's one that's that's not going to be kept the way it is um but i'm making good headway on get working on getting some of these projects done so what did I do after I finished my two quilts this week? I made a quilt top. Bad Susan. But it was a really basic one. It's, um, I'm, I haven't got it in here to show you. And I'll show it to you after it's quilted. But it's just, um, five inch square, five and a half inch square. So they come out to be five inch. Um, uh, with, and I used the, it's not a jelly roll. I can't remember what it's called, but the one and a half inch strips instead of two, two and a half. But um, I had a 
roll of white. So I have out put the white strips on two sides of these of each of the um, five inch squares, and then I sashed it with the with the white, and on one side that ha didn't have white already going all the way down it, I put a white strip down. So it's it's got a small white border. But it's done with the the packet of squares. Looks like for a little boy or a little girl who loves um, sports because it's got balls and it's a Riley Blake fabrics and it's got footballs and basketballs and soccer balls and it's got little uniform shirts and that kind of thing on it. So that will be a Linus project as well. But anyway, so I, I sort of broke down and started a new quilt. <laughs> the other two quilts that I want to do this year are um, to make from scratch are the Magical Beasts and there's another one in uh, course I've already started my favorite things and I can't remember the other one that's coming up that I want to work on but it'll come to me um, but anyway this has been long enough I have talked myself hoarse I hope everybody's doing well I hope those of you who have not been feeling well are feeling better and I hope you have a great week with your quilting and your other crafts and I will talk to you next week. See you later. Bye-bye.